But Madeira, Jack, to go all the way down to Madeira, it's absolutely senseless. It is necessary, Leon. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't go. But it's been 20 years, Jack, since you saw William Hallerton. 20 years. Come, Leon, you can't put a time limitation on friendship. Not on a friendship such as existed between William and myself. We were very close. We are like brothers. Listen to me, Jack. You have a wonderful memory of William Hallerton. Leave it that way. Don't destroy it with ugly suspicions. Suspicions? Oh, in heaven's name, Leon. I have more than suspicions. Listen to what William himself wrote to me. Um, I cannot say how it feels to be a success as an artist. Uh, some things are paid for at too high a price. I can only tell you that this woman I have married will be the death of me. You're not taking that seriously, are you? Why, this is only a common phrase. I've used it many times myself. It means nothing. Nothing? When this happens? Madeira tragedy. Noted artist, surf victim. William Hallerton, the painter of Madeira, was lost yesterday while swimming off the coast of his Madeira home at the tiny village of Porto Serra. It came as a great shock to the colony since Hallerton was known as an excellent swimmer and the sea was calm at the time. Hallerton's body was not recovered. And William died only a few weeks after I received this letter. A surprising coincidence, wouldn't you say? But this is dated nearly 10 months ago. Why are you so excited now? What made you wait so long? Well, last night I was sorting out old papers and I happened to reread William's letter. And for the first time, I put two and two together. I couldn't sleep all night. I tell you, Leon, I must go to Madeira. On what, Jack? It is expensive. Be practical. Well, uh, you manage my affairs. Find the money. You've got enough money for the trip, but that's all. Anything unexpected, like expenses to your property or a drop in the market, and you'll be in trouble. I'll risk it. But what good you can do by going, well, I can't see it. It is Mrs. Hallerton I must visit. I want to find out what it is about her that was the death of my good friend. I consider my acquaintanceship with Mrs. Hallerton a personal privilege. She is charming, most charming. I'm sure she is. After all, William did marry her. Uh, tell me, Mr. Armstrong, did you ever notice anything unusual or strange between them? Between the Hallertons? Uh, now, that is a question. I wouldn't precisely call it strange, but... Uh, ah, there was something, then. Mr. Coudet, I don't believe I'm in the position to judge or misinterpret, and I might in the case of Mrs. Hallerton and her late husband, do just that. So, perhaps we'd better leave it this way, eh? Now, see here, sir. I insist on an explanation. I'm asking you about the Hallertons because... I'm afraid I was mistaken, Mr. Coday. After all, Mrs. Hallerton is a lovely lady, and I can do no less than respect that fact. Nice of you to drop in. Thank you, sir, and goodbye, Mr. Armstrong. Uh, Mr. Coday, William Hallerton may have had his problems, but... Uh, haven't we all? once. And welcome to Porto Serra. Uh, tell me, uh, you've been here for some time. Senor, I am Luis Vargas, the owner of the Prado. Oh, well, then you, you know the Hallertons. I know the Senora. I knew the Senor. And I swear to you, I wept when he was lost. He was my friend, too. Ah, so then we must have a drink together. Thank you. 
to Senor Hallert. Tell me, in the weeks before the tragedy, um, did you see much of him? Well, just before dinner, every day he hurried to me for a drink. Hurried? William? <laughs> William was not a man to hurry for anything or anyone. Si, senor. But this was something new. Just between us, I felt in those last few weeks a certain desperation about Senor Hallerton. But why? Why was he desperate? Senor, it is not for me to say. Perhaps you had better speak with the Senor. Mrs. Hallerton, please. For me. I call her. A senora, a visitor. Thank you, Mario. Yes. You are Mrs. Hallerton. Couday. Jacques Couday. Oh. William Jacques, my dear, dear man. Come in, come in. After all these years, I just can't believe it. How ridiculous you and William's never managing to get together. It's somewhat late, but I want to tell you how terribly sorry I am about. Thank you, Mr. Couday. But William loved Madeira so and the ocean. It was almost as if he belonged to them. You know, I don't think I've been too upset by his going. You haven't been? Why, my dear Mrs. Hallerton. Oh, your face. You're thinking I didn't love William. I did. I loved him very much. It's just a belief I've always had, that what must happen does happen, even though it may seem to be woefully unexpected. Don't you agree? Yes, oh, yes, yes, I suppose so. Ah, senor. Senor, is everything all right? Yes, except for one thing. I spoke to Mrs. Hallerton yesterday, and I've gotten no answers about the desperation of the senor, as you put it. Perhaps if the senor will permit me, what you are looking for is in his work. He was painting all the time. And Mario, Mario tells me Senor Hallerton spent very little time in the house. He practically lived in the studio across the patio. And uh, the Senora kept everything just as he left it. The studio, eh? Well, thank you, Louise. Thank you very much. Strange. I can't help but think of William. It's all his things here, I suppose. It seems so close, and yet... Um, uh, bef before the accident, was William... Uh, was he well? Oh, my, yes, in every way. Why, he was turning out some of his best work. I was arranging the most important showing for him in New York, and even the Metropolitan was taking notice of my painter of Madeira. Was he happy? Oh, so happy. Both of us were. He should have been happy here. This is the most comfortable room I've ever seen. Jacques, William regretted so much never seeing you. Why don't you move in here? Stay for a while, as long as you like. You'll have absolute privacy. The studio is completely separate from the house. Stay here? I could never... As William's guest. It would make him so happy. Please, Jacques. Are these William's papers? Yes, just as he left them. His notes, his sketches, some letters. Indeed? You might like to look through them. Well, I, I don't know. It would be like intruding. Oh, no, Jacques, not you. You're like one of the family. Very well. I'll stay a little while as William's guest. 
Oh, how perfect. And you're being in the arts. It's just right that you should stay here. Oh, I haven't done much with my writing, you know. Oh, my dear, dear friend. I hope you do think of me as your friend. Why, of course. William spoke so often of your talent. It hurt him that you, that you never really put it to work. Oh, I know how you artists love to procrastinate. William was just as guilty as you are. Jack, listen. Let's make William happy. One thousand words a day. <laughs> what? One thousand words a day? One thousand words. And I'll be in to check on you. Oh, are you sure it won't be an imposition? Nonsense. It's all settled. I must see you to dinner. Oh, my dear, dear Jack. I haven't been so happy since... since... Senora, she says you want this. I want it. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. I'm not sure yet what I want. The senora, she says, like Senor Alicum painted with paints, you paint with words. Yes, that seems to be the idea. Only I don't feel very much like working. That is even less than usual. Oh, if the senor will permit, it was the same way with Senor Alicum. At first, it was hard for him to start, but soon it was easy. You're encouraging, Mario. I'm grateful. You did like the senor. It is as though he was my son. Then we're friends. Good friends. And as proof, I'll take your advice. Uh, I'll make a start. Amazing. One thousand bits of nonsense won't take long at all. You know, Jack, I was reading the story over again last night. Only a few weeks, and you're improving so. <laughs> Thank you. Still a task to write. Mm. Well, I suppose one gets used to anything. Good. You know, Jacques, I've been thinking about William's papers. William's papers? Oh, yes. Yes, I read them. I didn't find... I mean... There was just William in them. What shall we do with them? You're going to need that room for your manuscripts. Well, I'll have Mario pack them away. Simple. How quickly one can be disposed of. Excuse me. Merely artistic temperament, Mario. Like Mr. Hallerton. It's interesting how they all have it. But I suppose it is a blessing. Something is wrong, senor? Desperately so. The senor is unhappy. That's what's wrong. I've never been so... so uncomfortably happy in all my life. Uncomfortable and happy? Well, then, senor, you have a choice. This should not be a hard one to make. I believe you're right. Thank you, Louis. Yes, there has been enough nonsense. And I have a big apology to make. Mrs. Hallerton. Yes? Please sit down. Oh, all right. I'm afraid I owe you an explanation and an apology. You see, my dear Mrs. Hallerton, it is about... Your behavior at breakfast. I've already forgotten about it, Jack. I know how much you thought of William, and I dare say I did seem a little callous in the way I referred to him. I'm the one to say I'm sorry. No, please, not at all. Yes, I am. And I won't touch William's things. But I do have to take you to task, Jack. Really? today's work. You haven't done it. That is naughty, Jacques. 
I give up. Oh, Jacques, I'll make you a success in spite of yourself. Letter, Signora. Thank you, Mario. One for you, Signora. Oh, thank you. From Paris. My friend Leon de Noir. May I? Well. Something wrong? Too bad I'm not yet a literary success. It's precise feared. There have been reverses. And my income for at least a year is going to be curtailed. Oh, I am sorry. Well, better go back to work, I suppose. <laughs> May I come in? Please do. I'll put on some more lights. Oh, no, please don't. I... Well, I have a suggestion to make, and it's... It's not easy for me. Suggestion? That letter from Paris, Jacques. It was quite a blow, wasn't it? Why, yes, but it's all right. Uh, I'll find a job. When you've been doing so well with your writing... Oh, listen, Jacques, listen to me. I'm a very practical person. And I am fond of you. Oh, my dear. Please don't be offended, Jack. I know you do have property, and I know you are in a temporary predicament, financially speaking. That, my dear lady, is an understatement. Well, I have enough money, more than enough to tide things over. Why shouldn't we marry? Marry? You mean you and I? We have so much in common, Jack. Creative interests, William, a love of beauty. Why not? There. I've said it, Jack. Oh, a letter, Signore. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mario, have you taken Mr. Coudet's lunch to the studio yet? Si, Signore. Will you please tell him that the minister called and the wedding ceremony will be at five instead of at four? Si, Signore. Happy wedding day, senora. Thank you, Mario. The senora is not hungry. No. Thank you, Mario. The senora, she says, five o'clock, it takes place. <sighs> if I'm still awake, I haven't slept all night. Again, senor? Today you must take the siesta. I'll try, Mario. Don't worry. Jack! Jack! What a wonderful wedding present. I didn't dare hope but see for yourself. It's a check. Made out to me? For what for? They've accepted it. They're going to publish it. Publish what? Your Montmartre story. I didn't tell you, but I submitted it to the Panorama Review in London. Oh, you're a real writer, Jacques. Congratulations. Aren't you delighted? Hmm? I, I don't know. Yes, yes, I suppose I am. And you'll be famous. We'll see to it. What an incentive this must be to you. Hard work from now on, 2,500 words a day. At least 2,500. Oh, no. Oh, Jacques, I'm so happy. So happy. Congratulations, senor. You better rest. You're going to need it. 2,500. Oh. Mm. What is it? Still dreaming. Hello, Jacques. But you, you. <laughs> no, I'm not a ghost. I'm alive. Look. <laughs> William, oh, what a shock! But, but in the name of heaven, talk, man. <laughs> 
Oh, first forgive me for giving you such a fright. Oh, William, forgive you. You are alive. What could be more important? Oh, William, but how... D why, William, why? Oh, it, it goes back many years. Mainly, it was to do with my painting. I love to paint, of course, for myself, for my own satisfaction. But she wouldn't have it that way. She sent my canvases to London, my canvases to Paris. She organized exhibitions in Stockholm, Madrid, New York. Oh, Jacques, success is such a, such a wearisome responsibility. <laughs> yes, I understand. But how did you disappear? Oh, Mario helped me. He has friends among the fishermen. I just announced to my wife that I was going for a swim. Just a little swim, my dear. And that was that. <laughs> just going for a swim. But where have you been hiding? There's a little island nearby called Porto Santo. Nobody ever goes there except my friends, the fishermen. One could live a lifetime on Porto Santo and never be found. I had to get away, Jacques. You see, in spite of all her sweetness, in spite of all her loving attention, she was driving me mad. I was being drained. For my own good, I admit that, but mostly to satisfy her artistic ambition. I had to make a break, you do understand. Oh, I do. But you... You nearly got me in the same spot. You nearly got me married. You nearly made a bigger mist of your wife. Oh, oh, please. But I couldn't let you go through with it. I couldn't let you two be sold into slavery. Oh. That's why I came back. William. Thank you, thank you, William. Well, now that you're here, I'm saved. Let's go and see her. Oh, you wouldn't give me away. You couldn't send me back to her. Oh, now, wait a minute. That, that's not the idea at all. What do you expect? Uh, am I to refuse to marry her? Two hours before the wedding? Oh, William, think what it would do to her. Make her the, the laughing stock of the island. Oh. She doesn't deserve that, William. No matter how much she's tried to drive us. And um, she did have the best of intentions, William. Yes, that's right, she, she did. Well, at least, at least you're saved, my old friend. Back to the salt mines for me, I guess. Well, let's go see her. Let's get it over with. No, no, no. No, wait. I, I can't stand it. I'll find a way. Go back to your island. As quickly as you can. No questions. And... Good luck, my friend. <laughs> It's just an hour before we have to leave for the church. That's just time for me to read today's pages. May I have them? Even today? On a wedding day? And why not? What is more important than your work? Yes, I can see that it must be. To you. Well, my dear, I hope you won't be too disappointed. You haven't written them? No, but I'll take care of them later. Just now I'm going out for a little while. But where? There isn't time, Jacques. You're not even dressed for the wedding. Oh, there is plenty of time. I'm just going for a swim. Just for a little swim, my dear. 